Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Everything OneNote. Today I'm talking audio and I'm going to go through four different ways you can use the audio feature in your OneNote pages and your content pages. The first one I'm going to talk about is inserting MP3. So if you have any music or um, podcast is a really good one these days that is relevant to anything you're talking about in any of your content, uh, feel free to use that and drop that straight into OneNote. So here's one from a year nine business class where we're looking at credit and debt and I found a hack episode from Triple J where they were talking about credit card debt and some of the different ways people get into debt and some of the ways to get out of debt, which was actually perfect for the assignment where the kids are doing a podcast in groups together for the assignment. So I was able to just cut that up a little bit, find the 10 minutes that I wanted and then insert that straight into my page. And if you've got a credit play. card, you might want to pull out the scissors. If you're thinking of getting one, do not turn off the radio. And then we can simply sit and listen through that podcast. So just another way to make your pages a little bit more interactive and engaging by integrating some music or podcasts or some kind of an MP3 file format. The next one is an audio explanation. So if you've watched my 10 ways to modify a worksheet, this is straight from there. Literally, using the insert audio feature that we have up the top here and explaining the worksheet for the students that's coming up. And you can do one generalized explanation or you might want to go through and do specific explanations on individualized questions or it could be specific questions a bit more complicated. Maybe they need an audio explanation response. The benefit of that is if you're not in class or if the student's not in class, they can still get some element of explanation or teaching around a worksheet. The next one is flipping it and getting an audio response from the students. This is from a year eight HB class. We're looking at different um, types of sports injuries and classifying injuries. So the students had to go through and identify based on that scenario, whether it was an acute or overuse injury, direct, indirect, or a soft or hard tissue injury. Now, by even, even being able to identify which one of those it is, it's 50-50, so they can probably get it right, but it shows some understanding, but they were then able to justify and put into words why it's an acute injury, why it's a direct injury, and why it's a heart tissue. That just takes it understanding to an even deeper level. And it's easy for me to review as a teacher, to go in and listen to the kids' responses, and it's just something different. Some kids are able to verbalize what they think it feel better than they can write it down in words, and it takes less time. Another example from a year nine um, drugs and alcohol unit where we got the kids to create a public service announcement. So we use this in the club space permissions, set up the groups in there and they work together to do a bit of um, preemptive work, to answer the questions, write a script, and then use that insert audio feature. Again, just something different, a bit of fun for the kids to be able to get together and record something straight into the OneNote and very quick and easy for you to have access to it. And the last one I'm going to talk about is using it to uh, integrate feedback for students. So this is from, again, a year nine HPE drugs and alcohol unit where the kids are currently handing in some drafts. Instead of me writing all over this student's work and rewriting and editing their work, I'm just going to go into each question that's relevant and give an audio feedback back on. Right, so for question two, you're asked to explain the short and long term effects back on the student's work. So the ownership is then on the student to go back and um, edit the work themselves. Sorry about the bell. They have to go back and edit the work themselves. The responsibility isn't on them and it's not on you spending too much time to actually go back and actually complete that work for them. So that's it for today. Four ways to integrate audio feature into your OneNote.